Right, ladies and gents, the Mercedes 190. Fantastic car. I would go as far as say probably one of the best Mercedes ever built. Not this particular car, but this model. What a brilliant car they were. We used to sell no end of these. And they're so cheap to run. Parts were so cheap. They were good on fuel. They never went wrong. They were brilliant cars. And still are today. 95,000 miles on this one. I can remember going to... Uh, Oh, someone like Gran Canaria, I think it was, when I was in my 20s. And every taxi was one of these, or a 200. And every one had, we used to see, how, we used to look in, see how many miles it done. Every one had two, three, four, five hundred thousand kilometres on. And uh, still going strong. Probably still there today, I've never been back, but probably still there today. Anyhow, uh, I've taken photographs, loads of photographs for you. That's your number there. There are your numbers there. All nice and straight in there. Inside's lovely. Minimal wear inside. I've taken photographs of all your door cards, door shuts. Slight little bit of wear on the seat there. You can see. Other than that, no cracks on the dash. A little bit around the gator. But lovely, lovely inside. And this is nice. The proper Mercedes factory sunroof. There you go, there you go, proper one. Not an aftermarket one, a nice proper one of those. Yeah, nice inside. Good on the door cards, like I say, good on the back seat. Still got the um, warning triangle in the boot. Spare's bit on, obviously, but Jack's in there. Boot floor looks good. Nice to see the original first aid kit in there as well. But they were a good car. My mum used to have one after another, normally the diesel one. I had a couple of 1.8 petrols, had a two litre diesel one. Well, she was steady, but uh, it never went wrong. It kept going and going and going. Uh, now, there we are. So, um, really good on the body one or two little areas on the body as far as i could see still got the original plates even though they're showing a little bit of wear they've been on there for donkey's years you can tell about the original ones but they've been on there a long long time uh now there was a couple of little bits on a positive note no damage as such on the grill a little bit there it's a little ding in there you normally see a little bit like a um, a rover p5 grill always got a ding other than that, real straight round the body. Oh, a little bit just crept in there, look, it's unusual. Sorry, there, there you go, a little bit just crept in there. And there was a little bit, I think, around the aerial hole. What's a new aerial anyway? That's broken off. A little bit around there, obviously, where they've drilled it for the aerial hole. Other than that, it's dead straight on the body. Dead straight. Anyhow, it's here now. We've got uh, just over a a week and a half to our next sale. As I say on all these videos, our main viewing period is that week before the sale, when, um, well, when firstly we've got all the entries, or just about all the entries here, and they're parked up, they're stationary, we're not moving things around, and it's a lot more, it's a lot safer for you guys to come down and have a look. Uh, so feel free, come down, have a look, see what you think. <laughs>